My name is uh, Professor Joseph Bosire. I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs uh, in this great university, Jaramogi Odingo Odinga University of Science and Technology. We are planning to have our ninth graduation ceremony, um, which will be conducted on 22nd of April 2022. This is our ninth graduation ceremony from inception as a chartered university in 2013. This time, uh, we are hoping to have 2,279 candidates conferred with the degrees and awarded various diplomas and certificates. By the end of 22nd on Friday, we shall have churned out over 14,000 students going to the world of work, out of which 191 would have graduated their PhD. And therefore, I'm proud to say that as a university, we are also contributing to the high caliber human resource in the field of work in this country and beyond. I want to take this chance to congratulate these candidates that have made it. They have worked hard for the last four years, or the last three years, or two years, or one year, depending on their level of qualification. I also want to take this chance to thank the faculty, members of teaching staff, um, administrative staff that have been supporting the teaching efforts. I also want to take this chance to thank the parents who have really supported these students in terms of paying fees and, and providing parental guidance. At the same time, I will not want to forget that uh, the staff have really supported the, uh, the teaching area and uh, the student leadership, the student governance that we have been having for the last four years that have maintained calmness, have maintained dialogue so that whatever challenges we have had, we have sorted them up amicably in the process having students completing on time. The graduation ceremony that will be conducted on Friday, the 2nd of April 2022, will be held virtually, um, and therefore students will be able to follow the proceedings uh, from various social media platforms, as much as the ceremony will also be streamed on KTN television between 10 o'clock and 1.30 p.m. So students uh, who have been invited have their electronic cards on which the links are provided that will be able to guide them on how to, to connect and be able to follow those proceedings. Students who want to hire gowns are free to do so, even if they will not be able to attend the ceremony physically. Nonetheless, um, the members of council, members of management, the senate, and our positive students will be invited to attend physically, and that is as explained on the card of invitation. Thank you very much.